Good morning, sunshines. With the all kinds of interesting hair on my head, you can tell that it is both bright and early in the morning right now. It's 5 a.m. and we're off to an airport on another not crazy long, but still a trip. Let's check out where we're going. <laughs> God, it's so cold. Oh, not Russia, but it's cold for Brisbane. And I'm going to Adelaide, which is going to be like even colder. My darlings, I have arrived into Adelaide. I had to go get the bag. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's freaking pouring rain outside. I was gonna go out and fly the drone for a bit, but we'll see what happens. I'm so hungry though. Definitely keen for some food. I might have to do work then instead <laughs> if it's raining. Well, I try and go somewhere fun. And to add to that story, I'm here to run the half marathon, the Adelaide half marathon, which is gonna be tomorrow morning. Very exciting. It's not my first half, but I have, yeah, I have done that before. <sighs> but I haven't done one in Adelaide, and it's also in the preparation for the Iron half Ironman that I'm doing later this year. So something that I want to show you was so one hour Monday to Friday is for 20 but on Saturday it's three hour time limit but two dollar flat two dollar flat for however long you want to be part and some days are free so I got my two dollar ticket and I put it in my little rental car and then go get vegan breakfast work on some videos and have a think about where we're gonna go in a rainy day. Hopefully we'll get somewhere we can fly. I am absolutely starving. I'm working on some videos at the same time. Pick up the race bib and all that. Baking up some race stuff and just check out Adelaide for a little bit. Well, my sunshines had breakfast, did a little bit of like Toastmasters video work. Oh, check out the autumn in Adelaide. It's actually quite cool. Sort of reminds me of Russia with all these leaves. Is it maple? Do you guys call them maple leaves? Look how nice, nice smell too. So anyway, I'm off to jo Jogger's World <laughs> to pick up my bib. It is pretty chilly. It is right now May. It's May in Red Adelaide. It is freaking chilly. I would not recommend going cycle touring in May in Adelaide. It is definitely getting chilly and cold here and spitty right now. The food so the food was pretty good uh, the service was really nice the guys were very very friendly they're from iraq actually and they think they own the restaurant and cafe thing it's pretty good food but the food that i did get i found the breakfast a little bit oily so i got like a big vegan breakfast and i also got myself a mushroom pie thing pastry thing so pastry was good the breakfast was a little bit oily but that is simply can be fixed with asking to not put olive oil on top. 
Other than that, really, really good tasting mushrooms and tofu and really, really amazing chai. All right, come on, green light. I'm ready to go get my bib and go hide in the car. <sighs> Adelaide, just like many other places, many other cities in Brisbane, you now have electric scooters everywhere. There's cold ride. Works similarly as everything else, and even comes with a little helmet. Some bike shoes. These are cool. These do look cool, come. Oh. oh, but they're road, see. I want mountain bike. Because they go to road. Hmm. Part of all cyclists. Fashionable statement of socks. <laughs> Booty covers to keep shoes warm, to keep you warm. Gloves, high vis gloves. For warmer, for colder weather. Cycling. It's pretty good. It's pretty grip. I actually need to get myself a pair of these or something at some point. Cycle closet. Wallets made out of used old tires. Waterproof too. The rubbery tire. <laughs> Pretty cool things. Although, although the price is a bit bitey, I think. <laughs> A good way to recycle stuff. These are 35. These ones are 35 bucks. Hmm, cool idea. Have these bags these would be good for when you're going hiking or mountaineering to carry things in them make sure that things are dry no matter how wet or cold you get and also thinking of getting one of these type of little neck and head warmers cyclists use them hips as well those different ways you can wear them. Seriously, <laughs> it's like an ongoing theme today. 
trying to find a place to go out and film and fly the drone. Literally. Oh, it's cold and it's so wet. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We have to run in this tomorrow. Morning. Tomorrow morning. <sighs> I'm so bright. The rain gave us a bit of a itsy bitsy break so we are out exploring <laughs> and an interesting hidden adventure that not many sorry I'm just like going down the train thing so I'm looking where I'm going but an interesting cool little thing that no one tells you about when you come to Adelaide is a graveyard of shipwrecks from World War One I, I want to say one but Either way, it's pretty mighty, especially since it's been raining. And in low tide, you'll be able to get here easily, easy year. But the best way to get here to all, because like the shipwrecks, they're like located in different areas around like this little island. I'll show it on the map here. The best way to get around though is on the boat or on a kayak. Wait, wait. Okay. Two minutes later, it started to rain. And you know what? It's a mission to fly a little electronic drone, which is not waterproof, but a touch screen. <laughs> it gets covered in the rain droplets. Oh, not really ideal. Are we going to keep on doing the best we can? This is actually really cool. I would definitely advise Rain to one of these little kayaks that you can around here. You just drive down this road on the other side of the island in the little bay and rent one out. There's also a walkway to that shipwreck that we just looked at, but there's like eight, eight or ten shipwrecks around here. So cool.
darlings. I have arrived to my hotel. I still need to go back and park the car and go get some food for dinner, but I do have some snacks and I just want to quickly show you the room. So you walk through here and you have a bit of a bathroom. It's very nice, very, very clean, I think, very tidy. And you have this one bedroom. Nice big lawn table. I love tables that are really, really big. Very firm. Not too huge, but I think it's very sufficient for what it needs. It's a nice little cupboard. Nothing. <laughs> and this guy is one of the reasons why I'm here. First race this year. I have about 10 planned and I'm also staying in Adelaide for an extra couple of days for work after that. I've got my little safety pins for my tag. My bib, rather they call them bib. The number for the run for the half marathon. I'll show you, so I want to show you guys my dinner just quickly. No cheese, vegan pizza. Just all the veggies on a pizza base. And I have this vegan dip. Roasted eggplant and parsley. It's whitey. There's the ingredients just there. It's vegan. And I also have a big bag of greens that I'm going to add on top. And just eat that. I might not even eat the whole pizza. I'll see how I feel. And there's another veggie one at the bottom. But that one, I just... They had a deal, so I'll get that one and that one will be for tomorrow. But again, it's avocado and all the veggies, no cheese. 